All right, guys, we're off to do some trucking today. I got some new equipment to try out, and I'm excited. Let's check it out. All right, so there's been several of you guys on my trucking videos that have uh, posted a link to speed binders in my comments. And I thought, man, I need to go check these things out. So I did, I went to uh, speedbinder.com and actually ended up talking to Steve and Steve was nice enough to hook me up with four of these things. And they are, I haven't used them yet, but I'll tell you what, I'm more intrigued now that I see them in person than what I was seeing them on the internet. So my initial thought was, well, you gotta carry a stinking drill around with you. Then I was thinking, you know what? These are the three different types of boomers here. If you're using a snap boomer, you're always carrying a cheater pipe around with you then you're hoping and praying you don't hurt yourself because let's face it those things are just dangerous if you're using a conventional ratcheting boomer you're always carrying penetrating oil with you because they're just a pain in the butt they work good especially for track equipment but they're always jammed up you're always beating on them you're always working on them i don't know yeah penetrating oils are best thing graphite works good too but it makes a mess out of everything so if you get one of the speed boomers you're going to be carrying a drill around with you. So it don't matter what boomer you use. I guess my argument was, I was thinking, well, I got to carry a stinking drill around with me. Well, I'm carrying something with me no matter what I use. So why not it be a drill? Now, the next thing is I got to keep the battery charged. Uh, this is true, and time will tell how that pans out. But if you guys listened to my previous video, videos, you know that I'm looking at getting a cordless DeWalt leaf blower. I keep cordless tools in the truck anyways, and this may be a whole nother video. I'll talk about it later. I'm gonna see how this works, but I'm thinking about setting me a toolbox right here, have my drill, my cordless leaf blower, an inverter and charger, and all that right there. Maybe getting ahead of myself, we'll see how that works. But anyways, <clears throat> basically how these work is the drill just runs it all in and out. My initial impressions are on these, these are the 9400s, the heavy duty ones. And I don't know if you guys can see, but everything on this thing is heavier than everything I got. They, uh, they're very well built. I'm pretty pleased with construction on them. Um, good or bad, they're definitely heavier than the other ones to carry around. But uh, let's face it, these things have a rough life. I really like that this mechanism is all enclosed and greasable. I think that's a huge deal. So uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to think about them, so that's why we're going to go do some trucking and find out together, so let's do it! Alright guys, I'm going to interrupt myself real quick in this video. Whenever Steve sent me these, he also sent this three-page packet here that comes with it and suggested I read it. It's basically uh, proper use, use of the product. There's a lot of this is... Uh, Kind of uh, liability, uh, release of liability stuff, but there was also a lot of good tips in there on how to properly use the product. I found it useful. I think if you guys end up with this product, you'll find it useful. So I suggest you read it like I did. All right, back to trucking. All righty guys, we are full of fuel and free tripped. Let's get this puppy dog on the road. The uh, main goal for today, we're going about 40 minutes south. Gonna grab a man lift and take it to the one and only the longer way. Let's hit the road.
All right, guys, we just rolled in down here. Let's get this thing loaded and chain. Fire in the hole. All right, guys, we got her loaded. That went pretty smooth. Next thing is chaining her down. Can't believe these words are gonna come out of my mouth. I'm actually looking forward to chaining it down to see how these things work. I'm excited. All right, guys, this probably isn't the way I'm going to do it all the time, and it's the way I'm doing it this time for the purpose of this video and just kind of figuring out what I'm doing. But I've actually went around and got all these on, and they're just loose here. Uh, first thoughts on putting them on, I, uh, I'm liking them so far. The only thing I've really kind of noticed is you got to make sure this, they can't go either way. That nut's got to be up and accessible, uh, whatever you do. And you gotta be able to get your drill to it. You gotta be able to hold the hand, but you kinda gotta do that with the other ones anyway. So uh, yeah, let's tighten these boogers down. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty nice. Nice and tight. Number two. I'm liking it. I've only tied down four of them my whole entire life, but I think they may be keepers. <laughs> All right, 
right guys, we got five boomers on this thing and you guys pretty much seen it in real time. I don't know, I haven't watched the video, but it probably took me right at a minute to tighten them down. Uh, pretty impressed with that. One question I had and I wanna explain is there's no way to do these manually. The only way to do it is with that 14 millimeter nut right there. This bar here just gives it a place to chalk against so it can tighten down. But it works really well. Like I said, when you're putting the boomer on, you just gotta make sure you position it to where you can get that get that drill in there and it works good. But man, they, they tighten down nice, they tighten down quick. Yeah. Time will tell, but so far, so good. I wouldn't say this first go around I did this morning was any faster, but it was a heck of a lot more, a heck of a lot less physically demanding to do. My hands don't hurt from beating and cussing on them stupid boomers. I'm not covered in penetrating on them. I think as I get my rhythm and my routine down, it'll get faster. So we're gonna get this tail folded up and uh, yeah, we'll see how they come, come back off. Let's hit the road. we just rolled in down here i don't know what the difference is but every time i've ever hauled this man lift the chains have loosened up every time everyone i'm still tight i don't understand why but they are good thing i guess anyway let's uh see if they come off as easy as they got worn oh probably need two hands for this
riders in the description or in the comments of a few of my videos. And uh, so anyways, I checked them out. I reached out to uh, speed binders to see what they had available. Uh, Steve was nice enough. He actually gave me four binders uh, in exchange for my thoughts. He said, I want your thoughts, whether they're good, bad, or ugly. I ended up purchasing a fifth boomer and a drill just because I wanted to have the proper drill because the drill I got was not the proper drill they recommend. And it usually takes five boomers to or five binders to chain down most of my equipment. So I wanted to have enough to do a piece of equipment so I wasn't going back and forth. So anyway, speed binders and Steve, I appreciate the four binders. Uh, my initial thoughts, um, I'm intrigued guys. I, I kind of thought these were a little bit of a gimmick and they'd be handy, but there'd be more work involved to uh, make them work. But I'll tell you what, after this morning, I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with them. I think I think I'm really gonna like them. The it's just like any time you get a new piece of equipment or a new tool, the first time you use it, it's always a little bit awkward. So I don't want to put my official stamp of approval on it just quite yet because. I want to use them a few more times and kind of get in the habit of them and make sure it's worth carrying the drill around and, and they work and they do all that stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm impressed, guys. I I can definitely, I think there's three things. One, I think they're safer. Two, I think they're going to be faster. And three, they're not that physically demanding as the other boomers. I mean, a ratcheting boomer is hard on your shoulders. It's hard on your fingers. It's hard on your knuckles. Uh, these here, it's just pretty simple. Uh, hit the drill and, and go for it. So uh, I'll put a link to Speed Binders in the description uh, if you guys want to go check out what they offer. They're not that expensive. They're uh, I think the 9,400 pound boomers, which is what I got, is uh, just a little over a hundred dollars. And a good 9,400 ratcheting boomer is about a hundred dollars. I mean, it, that was probably my biggest surprise so far. Is, is the price point? I feel is very good for what they are. But uh, I'm going to continue using them. I'm going to continue giving you guys my thoughts. But uh, I, I, so far, so good, guys. I think they're going to be handy. I've already got some ideas and some things I can do to make it even handier. You guys will have to stay tuned for that. Thank you for the speed binders, Steve. I truly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.